Welcome to my review of WWE Anthology. It's a three disc set that includes rare and classic theme songs from the WWE. This is this one with the World Wrestling Federation logo. The Federation years. This two is the Attitude Era. This three is the Now. I'm going to make this into a three part review. The reason being is because it's a Three this said, and I figured it would uh, it'll take uh, it'll take less time to review. So we're gonna start off with um, the Federation years. It's a pretty cool CD. It's basically old school with the with Hulk Hogan ripping off his shirt, and has the old WWF logo, which is pretty cool. So let's get on to the tracks. The Federation years. It starts off with World Wrestling Federation signature, was basically saying that they're the World Wrestling Federation for over 50 years, the revolutionary force in sports entertainment. I love force play entry out because because I just did. Each CD starts off with a signature, um, you know, like that opening theme for a um, forever whatever show that you were about to watch at the time. That's what they start, each CD starts off with. Let's get started. The first disc includes 33 songs. It includes first song, Real American, Hulk Hogan. Really a classic theme song, and probably Hulk Hogan's best wrestling theme, other than this WCW American Made theme the theme song. Number three is Hitman, Bret Hart. I love this theme song. If I could, I'd practice playing it on the guitar. Track number four is, um, Walkabout was this bushwhacker. It's a pretty decent track, but it's just nothing too special. Number five, Together, which was news for Macho Man Randy Savage and Miss Elizabeth's wedding at S SummerSlam, which is a pretty impressive track, in my opinion. They really, they really got some talent in that song. Number six, one of my all time favorite theme songs ever. It's all about the money. Macho. The Million Dollar Man, my apologies. Everybody's got a price for the Million Dollar Man. <laughs> Number seven, Jake, the uh, Snake Roberts Snake bit, bit. Really, a pretty cool, cool track. It's basically trying to creep you out, but it's really a cool track. Number eight, Bad Boy, Raise the Ramon theme song. They cut it to two minutes, along with the uh, Hitman theme song. But still, they really honored the track still very much. Not, not the ninth song on the CD is the No Holds Bar theme to Hulk Kogan's movie, No Holds Bar. Pretty cool track, but pretty cool song, in my opinion, since the movie was you know, sponsored by Mr. McMahon at the time. Number 10, Unstoppable Ultimate Warrior. Ultimate Warrior. Pooey. Pretty cool track, but I hate the Ultimate Warrior. Number 11 is one of the worst tracks on the CD. I Love You, Brother Love. Is what the, the song is called I Love You, and it's for Brother Love. Really an annoying guy, in my opinion. Number 12, Cool Cocky Bad, which was Honky Tonk Man's theme. Pretty cool track. In my opinion, pretty cool track in my opinion. A remake of One Two Three Kids theme. One Two Three. I always like this theme song. However, I mean, I really prefer the original version over this one any day. Sweet Love and Arms, Birth of Fame. Really, really good track. Number fifteen is um, Can't Get Enough Funk Funk Flash. Pretty cool. Um, song in my opinion. This is also featured on uh, um, the news at volume two, and it's longer on that one. So it's sunny. It's also on that same city as Sunny. I know you want me. Really, always like this track. It reminds me of Sunny. She hot. I don't care who you are. Um, Seventeen. I'll be your hero. Lex Express, which was Lex Luger's theme song. Really a classic theme. Pretty cool track. Number 18 is um, Sexy Boy, Shawn Michaels. 
It basically, after it gets to the part where it says hands off the merchandise, it restarts the song, but it's not bad. Really enjoyable track. Uh, number 19 is um, Los Canitos. Los. 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 B O R A C U A S. It's an alright track, nothing special. Has Mankind's theme song, which was the instrumental version to his um, theme on the Volume 2 CD. And before I could look at it, um, there's a picture of Ultimate Warrior, Bret Hart, Honky Tall Man, and the Bushwhackers. Number 21, also on this, on, this one is on the um, Full Metal uh, album. This is Smoking by Smoke from the Smoking Gun. It's a really cool track. One of my all time favorite themes, as well as um, um, Samo Samoa, which was Yoko. I mean, uh, Sam S U M O, which was the theme, theme song for Yoko Zuna. This track, sh I mean, this Yoko Zuna is long overdue for the Hall of Fame. He was an excellent wrestler and an excellent heel. I, mean, I just mostly remember his feud with The Undertaker. Snap, and he was also tagging champions with the late great Owen Hart. Snap, instrumental version of Psycho Sid's theme. It's really, um, a, really a crazy track. Shawn Michaels Tell Me a Lie, which was his tr tribute song from when when he had an in he had an injury and he had to leave. Really an emotional track. Enough is enough. Owen Hart's theme song on here. It was his last theme song. It's a pretty cool track, and he also I also had had him doing a promo during the song. Number twenty six. Be with my baby tonight. Road Dogs theme song that Road Dog performed that for Jeff Jarrett. And it's a pretty good country song. I just don't like country music. Sable's Wildcat, which was her theme that when she turned to, returned to the WWE. Pretty good track, but nothing too special. You started the fire, Bret Hart tribute, which was also on the um, full. It's also on the um, Volume Two soundtrack. Number twenty nine, Diesel Blues, Diesel. This was Diesel's best track, in my opinion. Do Stack, Mick Foley, which was the, this was the third time they released that darn theme song on here, on a C CD series. Number 31, Power, Nation of Domination. It's pretty decent, it's just nothing too special, in my opinion. Number 32 is um, Corporate Ministry, the Corporate Ministry. This was basically a combination of the Ministry of Darkness theme with the Corporation's theme song at the time. It's a pretty decent track. It's just nothing too special. The Deuce Dear Do Love. It was basically a tribute to Do Love. It was a terrible. It's a terrible track, in my opinion. But overall, the first CD was pretty good. Makes sure you reminisce on the World Wrestling Federation days. So basically, as Really not a bad start to this set. So I don't know, I'll give the first disc an 8 out of 10. Really good track. Pretty good tracks. Thanks for watching part 1 and get ready for the Attitude Era.